This is a short video in which I'll be explaining how you fill in the ethics application form. This first page you should read through its instructions and once you've read it you can delete it. In the next page you should look at the ethics policy, we'll put a link in more, and then put an X here to say that you've looked at the ethics policy. In this section you look, put the title of the research project and then underneath that you put the names of all the students who are in your group. The department is the information school and put the email of the first named student, not all of your emails. Um, you don't have to put the telephone number um, to go with that, uh, but you can if you want. The supervisor would be Peter Stordy or me, depending on who's supervising your project. And the proposed project duration is March 2012 to May 2012. You won't be filling in any of these boxes unless your research involves children or young people under 18 years. On to the next section. In this box you summarise the aims and objectives, so you put your research question here and any aims that you've identified. Those will be the key things. Um, talk to your mentors or Sheila or uh, I, me or Peter um, if you're not sure how to summarise those. The methodology is how you're going to collect your data, for example through questionnaire, and if you've decided already how you're going to analyse it. In this section, um, I don't think that uh, you would expect a physical or psychological harm to the people that you're interviewing or gathering data from, um, so you could put here that no physical or psychological harm um, to participants is anticipated because your questions don't deal with sensitive matter. And in A7, this one's to do with your own safety. I think that all of you are going to be gathering your data on university premises or virtually or in the homes of yourself or your friends. Um, so in that case you could say that there are no issues of personal safety because and then explain that you'll be in safe places that you know. If you are going out to anywhere um, like collecting data on the street then you'd have to explain how you're going to make sure that you're safe in those circumstances. Again, talk to your mentor Peter or me about that. How will the potential participants in the project be identified? This means how will you know who to approach to ask to be in your project? So it could be they'll be identified if they are members of the um, information school or if they are class members of the BSc Information Management or if they are um, uh, members of the University of Sheffield. So they'll qualify if they are those things. Approached means how are you going to get in contact with them. So this might be via email sent by Sheila or Peter. It might be by being approaching them in the Information Commons, uh, by attending a class where we know they will be present. And recruited, would you'd say there, they will be recruited if they respond positively to our approach. So you can just say that. Will informed consent be obtained for the participants? You should put yes. And then in A91, you should say that uh, if it's a, an interview, that you're going to get the participant to sign a form and also you will give them an information sheet. If it's a questionnaire, you will say that consent will be implied by filling in the questionnaire and you will also make an information sheet available to them. Going to the next page, what measures will be put in place to ensure confidentiality? What you'd say there was that you will anonymise all the responses and that um, only the researchers will see the original data um, and that you will keep this original data secure. Uh, there's no financial gain, I think, but if you're offering people chocolate bars or some other um, uh, incentive, then you might as well put that there. Um, A12, will it involve the production of recorded media? If you're going to record tape record interviews, you'd say yes there. And in the section below, you should say that you'll keep all the recordings secure and will uh, destroy them once the research is complete. Finally, on the next page, you fill in where it has yellow bits, you, you fill in what applies. So you fill in your research title, name of supervisor, your own name, um, and then uh, sign there. So remove all the yellow bits and the arrows and ignore the last page unless you are